After McCain bashed Trump, his own steamy sex scandal just leaked. This is going to kill him. By Prissy Holly, Holly for FreedomDaily.com. Two-time presidential loser John McCain's obsessive jealousy of Trump has been on full display since the day our new president was sworn into office. The 81-year-old traitor should have been put out to pasture long ago, but because term limits for U.S. senators don't exist, the dried-up old schmuck has been spending every waking hour plotting on ways to bring Trump down. Several days ago, the brain-rotting old fart came out with his latest asinine claim against President Trump, saying in an interview with Esquire that he doesn't support Trump as president because he doesn't think the president has a set of principles and beliefs. But just days after McCain decided to throw mud at Trump for from his ivory tower, a disturbing skeleton from McCain's past is now starting to emerge proving who really lacks principle in Washington, D.C. The past several weeks have been ridden with sex scandals surrounding many well-known liberals. We learned that Al Franken and Harvey Weinstein have sexually abused women for decades, and over the past 24 hours, Matt Lauer of the Today Show was fired from the network as disgusting details surfaced about how he'd routinely turn his office into a sex layer or whatever, and had a secret button under his desk installed so he could lock the doors from the inside? Oh, well, that is juicy. Now it appears as, e as though John McCain is the latest creep to join these sexual perverts at the same time that McCain hypocritically calls for Roy Moore to exit Alabama's U.S. Senate race. When it comes to John McCain's decisions, We've learned from his past antics that he's always out for himself and he has little regard for his own political party, his family, or his constituents. Now it's being revealed how McCain allegedly cheated on his wife of 37 years after having an improper relationship with lobbyist Vicki Iceman. A female lobbyist had been turning up with him at fundraisers, visiting his offices, and accompanying him on a client's corporate jet. Convinced the relationship had become romantic, some of his top advisors intervened to protect the candidate from himself, instructing staff members to block the woman's access privately warning her away and repeatedly confronting him. Several people involved in the campaign said on the condition of anonymity. But this is just the beginning of John McCain's disgusting sexual escapades, as you will soon see. You're probably familiar with McCain's POW story, where in October of 1967, he was shot down and captured by the North Vietnamese and kept as a prisoner of war until 1973. McCain would use his POW story and veteran status to rise to political prominence where his image as a Vietnam War hero would go on to propel him to be elected as a United States Senator. But the real story about it is about John McCain's first wife, Carol, who toiled and waited for six years in torment, not knowing if her husband would ever return home. As John McCain was held in captivity, his wife, Carol, was involved in a terrible car crash and left her disfigured and wheelchair-bound, where she put on a considerable amount of weight. But John McCain would soon discard his wife, uh, first wife like a piece of trash, disgusted with how she now looked. The Daily Mail reported when McCain returned to America in 1973 to a fanfare of publicity and a handshake from Richard Nixon, he discovered his wife had been disfigured in a terrible car crash three years earlier. Her car had skidded on icy roads into a telegraph pole on Christmas Eve, 1969. 
Her pelvis and one arm were shattered by the impact and she suffered massive internal injuries. Today, she stands at just five feet, four inches tall and still walks awkwardly with a pronounced limp. Her body is held together by screws and metal plates and at 70, her face is worn by wrinkles that speak of decades of silent suffering. Carol was no longer the famous beauty and swimsuit model that McCain had married in 1965, and he callously kicked her to the curb for a younger wife. McCain divorced Carol and married Cindy. Just one month later, Cindy was not only beautiful and 18 years his junior, but also the heiress to an Arizona brewing fortune. The couple met when John McCain was still married to ex-wife Carol. John McCain married Cindy five weeks after his divorce from Carol, who happened to be close friends with the Reagans, Heavy.com reported. John McCain is the last person on the face of the planet who needs to be lecturing anyone about their principles, quote, given his shady past, involve, past involving women. Be sure to share this story and help expose John McCain for the crooked man that he is. Not only is he a traitor to our country, but he's a slime ball in his personal life as well. I totally agree. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Disturbing to say the least, you know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.